So just today, we have a cute little addition to the farm. Yeah, Rob. <laughs> Our new puppy. Our new puppy is going to take you on all our coyotes. <laughs> so come here. Yep, I hope so. So this cute little white puppy is uh, almost eight weeks old. And our hope is that she will grow up to be a big, intimidating uh, dog that will keep the coyotes out of here. So she is a great Pyrenees. And uh, they have been bred for many years to be well, livestock yeah. guard dogs. You want to go show her the farm? Baby farmer wants no, to get no. out. No, no, no. I want to just play with her. You just want to play with her? Let's, let's put her in the yard over there. Yeah. She, she, she still has to get used to where we live. So she's pretty small right now. I don't know how much she weighs, but definitely not very big. But I'm sure she'll she'll get a lot bigger. Very nice, calm demeanor. Of course, a little unsure of things right now because we're in a, a new place. And you know, I know there's kind of a an opinion about livestock guard dogs. The black and the white is such a stark difference. There's so many colors. There's so many brown. Brown, green. Good job, Sophie. Yeah. Good job. This is a nice brand new dog. Her got this on the door. What do you mean, Sophie? No. <laughs> we're be, um, we don't want upset, Sophie to maybe. to be mean or anything, cause she this Sophie's the home. boss dog. Yeah, this is her house, so she might be jealous. Yeah. Our black. Um, this one is jealous. She's doing pretty good though. She's doing pretty good though. Hi. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Sophie. Sophie. So a lot of people who um, know a lot more about livestock guard dogs do try to avoid human contact as much as possible. But the reality is, we've got uh, we've got little kids, <laughs> and we we need to make sure that that this dog grows up somewhat used to kids and doesn't. Uh, doesn't cause problems. Yeah, so if you're saying this is my house. Yeah. This one is jealous. Yep. I like jealous ones. Better put that dog. That dog not jealous. So this should be interesting. Definitely it'll be a, a learning experience for us and this dog will be outside all the time. Won't go in the house at all. But we have to, since she's still pretty small, we do have to protect her from the coyotes for right now. And so we're going to keep her up here for just a little bit, and then we'll move her out. And uh, we'll have her stay in the stall there um, by the cows. But she is really little still. So we got to take care of her and introduce her to the farm. And teach her to uh, get along with chickens and ducks. So... Yes. So, hopefully she'll be able to grow up with the little man. He just started walking. So he walks all over the place now. Hopefully she'll protect him too.
the little dog has been adjusting fairly well. Um, the puppy really wants to play. We put up this fence as an attempt to kind of keep her in a space in the yard so she doesn't come on our uh, back porch and chew up our boots and things. But that did not work very well, so we actually have her on a cable now. We're going to need to use that um, for a little while, probably, while she's a puppy, until she gets used to um, her boundaries and her space. She definitely does a lot of jumping and and uh, quite a lot of nipping, and so she's not real pleasant for the kids yet. Uh, they're getting used to her. The little guy here wants to play with her, but she definitely... Uh, makes it a challenge for him. <laughs> she's generally pretty calm, but she's she's clearly a little puppy. So she really has enjoyed some of these beef bones. When we did the cat, the steer um, a month ago, we kept all of the dog bones, knowing that we were probably going to get a dog soon. And so this has been great. Gives her something to, to chew on that's not destructive, and uh, gives her, it gives her a, a good healthy activity to do <laughs> that's not bothering us. So she is has a really nice demeanor. She doesn't bark. Just really hasn't barked at all. So our little dog is adjusting well. She's right there. We, um, this fence didn't have this hog panel on there. So we're putting that up partially for her, but also for other animals, chickens, uh, maybe goats or something like that in the future. So I don't quite have it complete, but I want this pasture basically to be her home. And so we have her in the yard right now, but <laughs> she's been out here all morning playing hard. She's pretty cute and a lot of fun. So she's just, well, she's almost nine weeks old now, but definitely growing fast. Very cute little dog. Um, she's gonna be, you know, probably around 80, 80 to 90 pounds, something like that when she's full grown. And uh, she should be the master of her domain here. Hopefully she will keep the coyotes away and uh, maybe keep any any bad people out of the pasture too. So we're really excited to have her here. Saving Miller out.